You know why? Because I think women are uh, insatiable. Women are insatiable. Spoken like a ninja who has never pleased a woman. That's crazy. Men are in love. Women are in business. Men are in love. Women are in business. Bruh. All right. Y'all really listen to this Another goofy? one here. We're going to go to number one. If you missed it, number four, number five, you, are hunt, you aren't hunting women. They are hunting you. You aren't hunting women. They're hunting you. Uh, nigga, you gay. <laughs> I told you it would come in handy. I told you it would come in handy. They know where the losers are. They don't show up. All right. Uh. If you're showing up where they are and they're in a better position than you, you're not hunting them. They're hunting you. Are you already eliminated? Number four, condom sex doesn't count. Condom sex doesn't count? Y'all, y'all really can't be listening to this man. Where are the Coach Greg Adams uh fans, bro? I demand that they call right now. She would barely, barely, very rarely count that as a body count. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? This ninja is dealing with hoes, hoes, hoes. This man is snitching on himself. Who listens to this goofy, bold, chocolate dud mofo? Who listens to this man? All right, you would count it as a body count for yourself. And you'd also would count it for her too, but she was like, nah, I wasn't really. All right. Now what? What? Whose goofy boy is this? This man is hurt, hurt. This boy is hurt. This man, when he was living in his car or whatever, damn, he was like, I hate women. I, mm, they all, oh, I can't stand them. Mm, mm, I can't stand women. Mm. He's hurt, bro. Coach Greg Adams, uh, reach out to me, fam. We need to talk. I can help you, bro. I can help you reach the moon, my G. Cause you got you you hurt, bruh. You really hurt. Now I've seen other dudes like you who are hurt. Who they hurt, bruh. They hurt hurt. You hurt hurt. And you leading other people astray with this bussy nonsense, okay? Number three, women prefer that you love them over understanding. What? What on earth is he talking about? And they do want you to understand them, but they also want you to love them more than you understand them. They want you to love them more than you more than more than you understand them. What? But if you understood them and removed the love, they got no power. He's talking about removing the love so they have no power. This boy is hurt. He's hurt. They got no over, they got no power over you. If he said, okay, I'll understand you, but I can't love you. They'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Why would you say that? I'll understand you, but I can't love you? Why would you? I don't understand. Why would you say that? I, I don't get it. <laughs> Who's saying this? I don't Like, what? And for a woman to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. I guess that makes her crazy. So let me get this straight. That makes her crazy. If you tell her I can understand you, but I can't love you. She's the crazy one for saying, hold up. Oh, love me, but I want you to understand a few things. You see what I mean? Uh, no. no, no one sees what you mean. Because what you're saying is goofy. Number two, hit the like button. Number two, they uh, tell you what you want to hear for various reasons. Protection, security. Sometimes, yes. Yeah, but that can be said about anyone, right? Men tell women what they want to hear. For various reasons. <laughs> That's, once again, this is like, this is nothing. This is like some vague poo-poo-poo-poo. Fee-fee-fee-fee. Doesn't mean anything. To make it through the day, to get what they want, to make you feel good about yourself, to lie to you so you don't. That's literally anyone. That's not, there's nothing specific to any gender. And you know what I mean? Uh, it is what it is, number one. You're in love. You're in it for love, but they're in it for business. That's literally the opposite of most encounters. <laughs> I don't know what, like, what are we talking about? They're in it for love. You're in it for love, but they're in it for business. What this tells me, once again, as I said, 
This tells me the type of women this person's been exposed to. He's hurt, and he's talking from a hurt man's perspective. He wouldn't know a good woman if it hit him in his head. Jesus could come down and say, Coach Greg, here's a good woman, and then go right back up to playing PlayStation because Jesus doesn't play Xbox. We all know that. The devil does. And this man would be like, "Mm mm-mm, that ain't a good woman. Mm -mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Here's the thing. Stop blaming all women for your poor decisions. I'm going to rewind this again for those who may not, you know, who need uh, who may, may have missed this in the back, for those of you in the way, way back, the nosebleed area. Stop blaming all women for your piss poor decisions. And for the men who are complaining, I'm going to say this for the women. I've said this multiple times for women. Women, stop blaming all men for your piss poor decisions, Okay. You got with a broke, dusty ninja, and now you want to label all ninjas as broke and dusty? No, boo-boo. As uh, the great comedian and philosopher said, you need to find out what about your what about you is attracting ancient ninjas. That's what you need to figure out. What about you is attracting ancient ninjas? And men, you need to find out what about you is attracting ancient women. How are you going to blame the buffet for what you put on your plate? You put dusty on your plate. You can't blame the buffet. You picked it and put it on your plate. Some of these women put dusty, not loyal, cheater, abusive on their plate, sit down, and then bitch and complain as they eat. Ninjas ain't shit, bruh. I just tell you. They all cheaters, bruh. They nothing but dogs. They all... They all dogs. Okay, girl, I'm just, I'm just letting you know they all. I'm sorry, boo. You, you put that on your plate. What are you talking about? But, but that's not what she has on her plate. She didn't put that on her plate. So the only people who would resonate with that are the people who have dusty, not loyal cheaters and abusive on their plate. Mm, girl, that looks good over there. What are you having? Oh, I'm having the same thing you're having. I, I saw what you ordered. I wanted to get it too. Just, I'm mm, dusty. Mm, this is delicious. It's the same dudes. Put socks, right? What did I tell you all about socks? They want to put rings on socks. What have I told you about socks? These, these mofos put rings on socks. They get a sock, bruh. They get a sock. They put a sock on their plate, bruh. Like, oh, I am hungry, bruh. I am, <laughs> I am hungry. Ooh, what is that? Is that a sock? Let me, ooh, yeah. Let me get that sock right there. Ooh, actually, no, this may be just enough. Mm, let me get some of this. They be eat, eating the sock just, why are you comparing all women to socks? I don't have a sock on my plate, fam. This boy, this boy, Greg, got issues, issues. You're in it for love, but they're in it for business. That boy hurt. Now, this is a tough one. Yeah, it is a tough one. <laughs> this is opposite of what we've been told. Remember, these things are going to change your life. This is going to, if you accept it, you're going to understand it. Now, we're told that they're the best lovers. I beg to differ. Uh-oh, here we go. Uh, nigga, you gay. Here we go, bro. Here we go. Who are the best lovers, bro? Although she must love me more than I love her, she does. Who are the best lovers? Are you going to say men are the best lovers? Is that what he's going to say? Who are the best lovers? Nah, she's not the best lover. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, I'm waiting for it, bro. I'm waiting for it. Uh, nigga, you gay. I'm waiting for it, fam. I'm waiting for it. Who are the best lovers, fam? Are men the best lovers? They say, I give good love to you, baby. Uh -huh. But I've often also told you that women receive love. They're Who, so men are the best lovers. That's what he's saying. Bruh, what do I tell y'all? What do I tell y'all? Uh, nigga, you gay. What do I tell y'all? Manosphere, MGTOW, Red Pill, all this, sh all this leads you to a path of bussy. They're in the business of receiving love. And everything she says backs this up. What did I tell you? Bussy and hurt is a bad combination. 
Bushy and Hurt is a bad combination. This boy is hurt. He's never been loved in his entire life. How do you get turned out so quickly? That's what I don't understand. How do you get turned out so quickly? That's crazy. You go through one more marriage and get a divorce and now all of a sudden your whole world is freaking anew? This man got turned out by one woman? That's crazy. That's crazy. This boy got turned out by one woman who screwed up his life entirely. She not in it to give love to you. She's in it to receive love. Oh, pain, bro. Pain. <laughs> bro, this man went to, he took a trip to Spain without the S. <laughs> she in it to take it. That's all she in it to do. She don't love you. She don't love you. That's all they do. This man talking like Agent Neo from fucking Matrix. Guys are like a virus. All you do is take and take and take, take, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, what does she want? I want a man that's available to me. I want a man that can text me when I get off work and ask me if I need to get dinner delivered to me. I need to make sure a man, I don't want to ask a man for what I want. I want him to just give it to me. I want him to take me shopping without me asking. Bruh, what type of women have you been with, fam? That boy hurt. What type of women have you been with, my G? Let's take it out of the money situation. I want them to be there to cuddle to me and listen to me when I had a hard day at work. I Your woman wants you to be there to cuddle with you and to hold her when she's had a whole hard day at work? These are the examples he's giving. I want him to ask me how my day is going. She wants you to ask her how her day is, is going? And I want him to give, 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 give. Oh, this boy is hurt. Oh, this man is hurt. His ex-wife is a Karen? Must be. Had to be all crazy, Karen. She just don't want to take. She just won't take. That's all she wants to do is take. Give, 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 give it. She take, 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 take. She take, 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 take it. Then you say, what are you going to give me? She's going to say, me. Do you notice the difference? Here's what I understand. Do you notice how stupid what he just said is? Do you understand how stupid what he just said is? He just explained to us that a woman says, hey, I want you to do this, 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 and this. And then in return, the man, what does the man do? Okay, what do I get? Did he say, okay, I want you to do this, this, and this? Do you see how stupid that is? She gave you a list of things that she requires of you. What are the list of things that you require of her? She was, he gave very specific points. I want you to call me when I'm at work. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. Well, what you gonna do for me? What do you want? Well, uh, uh, uh. See, some of y'all have never been put in that position. I understand. I understand. <laughs> they so hurt. They've never had a woman ask them, what do you want, baby? Oh, oh, so sad. So sad. They've never been, they never had a woman ask them that. That hurts, bruh. That hurts my soul. Oh, pimpin. You've never had a woman ask you that? Baby, what do you want? You never had a woman even ask you that in the bed? Oh. Oh. God, y'all hurt. They hurt, bruh. They so hurt. You want to know what's so crazy? You ask this person. You ask some of these dudes who are like this. You ask them, well, what do you want? They wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, I, I want, I, I want, I want a woman. I want, like, I want, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you don't even know what you want, Pimpin. She knows what she wants. So now you want to be upset that she knows what she wants, but you don't know what you want? I'm going to give you me. What do I get? What do you want? She's going to say, you get me. 
What is she? What do you expect her to say? She can't mind read. This goes right back into what communication. What do I say is the number one rule? One of the main things women want communication. These ninjas don't know how to communicate and then be upset that the woman can't mind read. Well, what do I get? Uh, me? That ain't, that ain't good enough. I'm telling you, right? It's easy to spot socks. You guys are worried about good women, but you don't even know how to spot socks. If you know how to spot a sock, then by default, you would then know how to spot a good woman. I'm going to run that back to you again. Some of y'all missed that. If you knew how to spot a sock, then by default, you would then know how to spot a good woman. If it's A and B choice, and you know that B is wrong, then by the process of elimination, A has to be the right answer. You think it's wifey and it's a sock. Or you think it's a sock and it's wifey. You trying to go on a, a freaking uh, uh, around the world journey in a Bugatti. A Bugatti isn't made for you going around the world. What are you, like what? Why are you upset that you're in the wrong vehicle to get to the destination? The problem is you don't have a destination. Most of you goofy ninjas don't have a destination. Most of you women out there don't have a destination. So don't be upset when you get in the wrong vehicle. You just enjoy the ride. Now, if you have a destination, then you're going to have requirements, right? There's nothing like going to the store and knowing what you need to get. Going into the store and knowing what you need to get versus just having a vague idea of what you need. I think I need, I don't know. I feel like I want some, maybe some cereal. I think we need some eggs or something. Then you start to waste time because then your eyes start to wander. Oh, what is that? I need to, ooh, that actually, what is this? I'm going to get this. And then you come out of the shop with a whole bunch of stuff that you did not intend on getting versus the person that says, I need this, I need that, I need this. Okay, this, where is this? On aisle six, thank you, thank you, and we're done. <laughs> Bing! It's really not that hard, but don't worry, the vet program is gonna blow y'all minds. It's gonna blow your minds. See, when you frame it like this, you're going in it to give her love. She knows this going in, and she wants to be in the business of receiving. She gets the benefit of you loving her. Right? This is a, this is a, a stupidity mindset, right? This is like a zero-sum game. Anyone who thinks it's a zero-sum game, and what I mean by that is that, hey, if I do this, then I lose. If I do this for this person, then I get screwed over. And it's not like that, nor should it be. And if you're in a relationship like that, well, then you need to get out of that. Or you need to set up the parameters beforehand. But to, to just broadly, as far as frame everything as this, it's dumb. Now, you want to be loved and thought to be special and only the one, the only one to access her. And she sells that to you. And she says, as a result of me doing this, I'm going to receive. What he just explains quid pro quo. That's how that's how relationships work, Greg. If you want something, then you have to give something. There's an equilibrium. There's a balance. I'm going to I'm the table, meaning you're going to set the table. You're going to put the food up. You can't hear this because this guy's goofy, bro. This guy's dumb. He's just dumb. And I, uh, knowing his background, it's understandable why he's dumb. He's hurt, and he hasn't gotten over that hurt. Pen out here that are struggling, and they can't even get all three, and there are six figures, six foot five. Look at Cam Newton. What? Look at Cam Newton. He out here struggling. There's men out here struggling, and they got the six sixes. They should get the vet program then. <laughs> You know why? Because I think women are uh, insatiable. Women are insatiable. Spoken like a ninja who has never pleased a woman. That's crazy. This man just said women are insatiable. Tell me you are the epitome of a beta without telling me you're the epitome of a beta. Women are insatiable. They just want, 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 want.
What? They're insatiable. They can't be satisfied. They. Uh, nigga, you gay. Fam, at that point, just move on to men, bro. What do I tell y'all? Manosphere, MGTOW, Red Pill, all this leads to Bushy. That's in goal. It all leads to Bushy. It all leads to Bushy. Because really, at this, if what you're saying, if you truly believe that women are insatiable, they can't be pleased, then what's the point? Go get yourself a boyfriend. You already said women aren't the best lovers that men are. Everything he is saying is leading you toward one direction. Bussy.